Thank you for tuning in to today's video about potassium. We're gonna talk about potassium. Potassium is a mineral, okay? It's a, it's a mineral that has a lot of health benefits for the body. And it's even showing some health benefits for the kidney. Now, before, and even current day, I still see this a lot, there's recommendations to restrict your potassium levels if you have kidney disease. And this is actually outdated information. That's This myth has been busted over the last 10 years. And so I wanna talk about this because there's people still giving out these recommendations. I still see people coming through Healthy Kidney Inc. with their doctors home, just avoid potassium foods. And this really is not helpful and actually more detrimental to people that have kidney issues. And the only time that you should avoid potassium rich foods is if you have an issue with potassium or you're at risk of an issue. So I'm gonna reference a piece of research. It's from the Journal of Renal Nutrition, February 4th, 2022. And the Journal of Renal Nutrition is really a prestigious journal when it comes to uh, nutrition and kidney disease. It's the journal, so it's the top journal for this. So name of the uh, study is Taking the Kale Out of Hyperkalemia, which is high potassium levels plant foods and serum potassium in patients with kidney disease. Now I'm gonna read you the abstract word for word. So traditionally diets for kidney disease were low in potassium. This recommendation was based on outdated research and often wrong assumptions that do not reflect current evidence. In fact, studies conducted over the past decades show patients with CKD, including kidney failure, do not benefit from restriction of plant foods relative to control. Uh, generally, dietary potassium does not correlate with serum potassium, and we posit that this is due to the effects of fiber on colonic potassium absorption, the alkalizing effects of fruits and vegetables on metabolic acidosis, that's a big problem with acid buildup, and the bioavailability of dietary potassium in plant foods, meaning it doesn't absorb as well as it does from animal foods. Also, consumption of plant foods may provide uh, pleiotropic benefits to patients with CKD. Uh, pleiotropic is just like a lot of benefits, okay? A lot of good things for people with kidney disease. Emerging dietary recommendations for kidney health should be devoid of dietary potassium restrictions from plant foods as the patient-centered kidney recipes can be encouraged and promoted. So we're busting that myth. You should not avoid potassium-rich foods if you have kidney disease unless you have a reason. It's actually quite the opposite. If you include more of these foods in your diet, you're getting more nutrients. You're offsetting the acid buildup. You're helping your body. There's so many good positive things that happen from this. And when it comes to kidney research, you know, the field of kidney disease is really still pretty young. We only had a definition, a full definition uh, for kidney disease into the early 90s. So we're just really learning more and more so much about the kidneys. And this myth has been busted. It's not something you should do because when you get off a lot of those uh, healthy potassium foods, you end up eating foods without nutrients, low in fiber, not good for your kidneys, not good for your body. So if you want to be cautious, eat plenty of low potassium and medium potassium foods and have a few of the high potassium fruits and vegetables. Um, but you should always be monitoring your blood work, checking it with your doctor, but there's no reason to avoid them if you don't have to and you're missing out on a lot of excellent health benefits, good health benefits for the kidney. Thanks for watching everybody. We got other videos also about potassium, about uh, boiling, double boiling, leaching. That's Those are ways, cooking methods to take potassium out of foods if you really want to control it or you need to lower it. So take a look. The link will be in the comment section and like and subscribe if you have it. To your best kidney health, everybody. Bye.